folks, we're up in the loft, gonna do the village. Thought you might wanna see. I know some of you have been chomping at the bit to see it. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, I'm really excited. I'm gonna first take you vlog style around and look at what I'm facing here in the loft. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, Rudolph, my dear. Okay guys, now I wanted to share a very unique system I've come up with as a space saver for your Christmas village. Now it's still in a particular situation, but for those of you that have this scenario and never thought of it, it might help you think. Now I've removed everything off of two shelves. If your shelves don't come around the corner like this, you can simply use a bracket or a leg. This system is completely not needing a leg for support, okay? And if you're not good at measuring and cutting, take some cardboard first and make the shape that I'm gonna show you Tape it together, what'll work, and then take your jigsaw and cut it out on a piece of plywood. Now I highly recommend a good three quarter to one inch plywood. That's what's making this not need a, f a foot or a leg, okay? Because it's not gonna flex and dump all your village pieces. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's, <laughs> here's my design, and it's quite elaborate. Measured and cut out to fit this particular scenario. Now I've got another cool idea, which is all with clamps. These aren't the smallest C-clamps, but they're small. And this is all you need. This keeps you from screwing or nailing anything on here. Okay, so let's get our first piece installed. Here's the bottom. And by showing you this, I don't think that everybody can do it, like I say. It's been a while, so I gotta... Here we go. Tip, tip and tilt. Tip and tilt. There we go. I want to pull that back as much as I can. There. There we go. So we have a shelf extension, obviously. And these clamps put in strategically in just a couple of spots is gonna keep this from moving at all. So your clamp has to open to the thickness of your plywood and your shelf. The shelf is three quarter, the plywood's three quarter. So your 
clamp has to open an inch and a half, probably a little bit more. Here's what I'm doing so you can see it. Get it pushed in there. And I'll tell you, there's no mark on the shelf. The thing is not going to move. It's cranked down pretty nice. Let's look at the top piece. Here's its form. Basically another modified triangle with a couple of cutouts for the shelf supports. Okay, now I want to maximize. Let's see what I want. I guess I'm coming out. Okay, I got to look at my cross piece to see how far that that I want that in or out. Here's this piece. Okay, now I got to funny spot here where the clamp is going to be up instead of down but that's okay we're going to hide that with a building or some snow or whatever we got to do the biggest thing first is that the shelves don't move and now also we're planning a tree in the corner so I've got to consider how far I can take my track along which is not very far got it all right now gonna need some spacers here because the shelves are not even the shelf has to come up to meet the other one. And we'll do that with three pieces that we had cut like that. We're still hanging in the balance. That'll come out a bit. Now I'm gonna finish this up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so the next step after all the shelving secure, I ended up with two big clamps to reach through three layers with the spacer shelf and the plywood. Six regular clamps, three bigger clamps, like five or six inch. Now, I mean, it is buttoned down, and an important one was this back one that I got Believe it or not, I had left a space for CATV cable and so on because I know better and I didn't want to drill a bunch of holes. So cables, speaker cable, so on, can just drop behind. And I got that clamp behind and that was the only thing going to possibly make me put a screw in. No screws in this system. Just Let's see, nine clamps. Next, we gotta secure our electrical bus along our display board. Those of you that have been here, you know what I'm talking about. Electrical bus is a run or a feed and we've got a lot of village pieces to feed with power. I'm going to take my longest extension cord, hide it around the back. Be nice if it go under that shelf. Not going to worry about it because I already have it clamped. So my initial extension has the three plugs. So we're extending that. 
Now I'm really happy with that. The other thing I'm going to do. So we got a three plug, three plug, and three plug. And that is not enough. <laughs> so we got the six ways. And you got to pay attention because you need this one without the ground because they're just indoor two wire simple lighting you don't need that third one the third one's not going to plug into your extension cord you plug that in i got this is just what i happen to have so in order to get all six of these you got to plug both in i've got this plugged in and I'm gonna have three on that side and two is five that's a lot that's pretty good next biggie is the snow blanket I think I want the big snow blanket from Uncle Wally's down here and I've got this long one that was gonna work real good for this upper shelf see this this is how it comes, and this is from Amazon. So I figured, you know, minimum cutting here. Now we don't want to bury our outlets right yet. So we're just gonna work on the front. I know I have enough there, I'm gonna make a slit. Go around my clamp. I want this puffy, and I don't want to see the staples, so I'm going upside down with just a 3 8 Could be a quarter, I don't have any. Okay guys, the next thing I'm doing is a little paper background. Bought this on Amazon, pretty reasonable, and we'll link it in the description box. Now I'm not going to laser cut this and worry about it being exact because I don't have time. You can do what you want, but we're going to make it nice. And I'm using painter's tape, the blue painter's tape, to do a little ring and stick it on the wall and then put the paper up. And let's get that caught up. Okay guys, and here's how we're looking. We have all our night sky background in. I'm starting to, you see, cover the clamps with the snow drift. And we're breaking out our Department 56 North Pole series. This one says S. Claus and <laughs> Workshop. This is the castle, Santa's castle. Now I have the daunting task of opening some 18 village pieces and we have six others that go around a tree elsewhere. They're just odd different pieces that we lo I like putting uh, around the, with the train. So I want to get my village layout and I have this one mountain top I think it's going to fit here real good. Mountain top, hill top and I'm thinking Santa's house might be the highest thing around. Get down to a power source and then I'll worry about hiding everything. And I'm gonna build this and save you a lot of time. Okay, we're starting to look like something. <laughs> oh. Now, we're still gonna be funny looking because I've gotta have the connections for all the houses out still. 
This lower level is more like in town, and I'm just nuts about Bud's TV and hi-fi. <laughs> Too cool. We'll get real close when we do the show me all around, if I get to. Now, Santa's Castle, where I wanted it, up on the hill. There's a little slaying reindeer that I got years ago that has nothing to do with Department 56, but it just goes with it. I'd like to put him up there. And anywhere you see, I'm, you know, something wrong, I'm tucking in the little snow. And what's cool too, I wanted to mention, The snow blanket is one thing, but the hider, the real worker is the bat, the batten, okay, or pillow stuffing or quilt stuffing. Okay, this is the one that's really gonna let you hide some stuff. And I had gotten just so you know, two snow blankets and a big batten for this project. That batten was from Uncle Wally's, real reasonable. And the blanket, and the skinny blanket I told you I got from Amazon. Oh man, this is starting to look good. So on the lower shelf, I've made like you went in town, okay, that's more in the village. Up above is the North Pole, all the workshops. We'll get a real good look in a minute, but now the fun, okay, we're taking what just looks like a ball of material, and we're going to go along that edge so it doesn't look like a shelf. I'm going to pull this pile filling okay along here and make it a raggedy uneven. See this it looks like drifting snow instead of a pile of sewing material. <laughs> You know, so we get that stretched out, looking real, covering our cords in the back now with the pile fill. That's just perfect for that. And I can see there's no question about it. That background paper was worth every penny. We'll link that, I told you, in the description box. Drifting, piling snow. We're going to use to hide all our imperfections. And once you can't see a clamp or a cord, it really, really starts to look magical. I think I want to cut this. Even though I like random pieces, I want to cut this long and get that tucked in all behind those houses. You know, here's the... Oh, boy. Here's the kids building the snowman. Where's it going? In the t in town, right? They're going to do a big snowman in town. Now we have the hot cocoa shop. That's got to go in the village. Okay. These parents look kind of big for the kids, so I'm real funny about the perspective on how everything looks. Here's trees for sale. Oh, that's too cute. 
Yeah, again, we'll want to be in town with that. This, I love. This guy's running out of, uh, I keep wanting to call it that, Bud's TV. <laughs> he's just, he's just bought a TV for a gift. And the little daughter's got the rabbit ears. Remember them? <laughs> Don't admit it. You'll be telling on your age. Here's your lady's auxiliary. <laughs> Singing in front of the church. They have to go there. It's too cute. Look at this. And we got a town Christmas tree. We have a lot of the cute little trees to add as well. A whole bag of them. A boy and his dog could be waiting at the depot. And there's a little traffic up here in Santa's Village. We got elves working in this is the elf bunkhouse, but they're painting. They might be around working on their place. <laughs> and then this is my favorite thing. My favorite thing is the sleds on Santa's Hill. It just takes me back. There's nobody to play with, so he's shoving him down the hill, empty. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna catch this up. You know what? Oh, my goodness sake. Already? This is too good. The kid putting the letter to Santa in the mailbox. Where are you gonna go, guys? Right here, we're going to take you and show you all around.
Hey, remember folks, if you like the Christmas Village today, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a sleigh full of newbies over. That's new people that we care about right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey, take it easy guys and come back again for another over the top. We got a lot more decorating to do and only five more trees to do. See you in the next Christmas decorating video. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, root of my dear.